Alright, so in this tutorial we'll be talking about ternary operators. Now, a ternary operator is simply a one-line if-else statement. And that is very useful because it can, one, make your code a lot shorter, if you only need to have it do one thing, or it can make, also make your code a lot neater if you're good at it. Alright, so let's just get into it right now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a local variable, call it 1, is equal to 4. Then we'll do a local and score uh, 2 is equal to 5. Alright, now these two obviously do not match. So let's do local underscore 3 is equal to, and here's where the turn in, ternary operator comes in. We go local underscore 1 is equal equal to local underscore 2. Alright, now what do you think is going to happen here? I'm going to guess, a lot of you will already know, since you should know what booleans are, what to do? Prints out false. Now, that is not a ternary operator, that is just creating a boolean. If you want to create a ternary operator, you do this exact same thing here, but afterwards you put in a question mark. Okay? And now, what this question mark does is, it has essentially created an if-else statement for you to be able to input. Alright? So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go local1 plus local2. Local underscore 1 plus local underscore 2. Okay? So this is my if true statement. Okay? So it's going to check this. This is your boolean. This is obviously false because 4 is not equal to 5. The question mark is, you know, setting it up, saying this is a ternary operator. And then this part, right after the question mark, is your true statement value. Okay? So now, we're going to move on to the false statement value, which is, you put a colon here, right after this part, because this is the uh, true statement, like I was saying before. And you do the exact same thing, so I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to go minus. E minus, there you go. Okay? So, local1 plus local2 if this is true. Otherwise, local1 minus local2 if it's false. Okay? So now when I play it, what happens? I get negative 1. Because, uh, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Alright? So if I was to make this 5 now, so it's equal, equal to local2, I'll get local 1 plus local 2, which means I'll get 10. Okay? 10. Alright, so let's recap here. What we are doing here is essentially making a method. We'll call it a method, it really isn't, but we'll say it is for now. Alright, we're essentially doing this. def ternary, probably didn't spell that right, but whatever, is, you know, we're doing this. We're going to go if, um, local underscore 1 is equal, equal to local uh, underscore 2. I did not spell that right. Return local1 plus local underscore 2. Else return uh, local underscore 1 minus local underscore 2. End. Alright, so that's what the ternary operator is. We're going here, we're saying local underscore 1 is equal, equal to local underscore 2, question mark. Okay? So that's what this is here. We are setting this part up with the turner operator. The question mark simply says, this is an if statement now. Okay? And then, right after the question mark, you, you go into the, uh, the true statement, which is this one right here. So again, local underscore 1 plus local uh, underscore 2. And then, when you, when you want to move on to the else statement, you put a colon, and you then go what that one is, so it's local underscore 1, minus local underscore 2. Okay? So that's how you set up a, uh, how you set up a ternary operator, just an equal sign after a variable name, and what you're going to do with it. Okay? Now this is not just, uh, this does not only work for uh, setting. You can do it for plus equals, minus equals, or anything else of that nature. Again here, this is 
essentially an if statement. So if I want to have more stuff in here, like, you know, and local underscore two is equal equal to five, I can do that. Because that still works just fine. So if I was to change local, uh, if I was to run this now, I should get back uh, 10. Yep. And now, if I swap local underscore 2 back to, uh, to 4, I will get 1. Because, as we already know with booleans, these both have to be true for this to be true, this if statement here. Okay? So, since that's not the case, obviously, I get the, uh, the else statement, which is local 1, minus local 2, which is 5, minus 4, which is 1. Okay. All right. So now, now that we know what that all does, we can move on, and we can just go local underscore three plus equals, and now we'll do another one, and this is going to be local underscore one greater than local underscore two. Question mark. Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to go. We're going to plus equals local three by the greater value. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go local 1 because if this is true that means local 1 is in fact greater than local 2. All right? So we'll return um it will make local 3 plus equal local 1 which will be 5. So which means uh if I remember this right this should come back as uh, 1. So 1 plus 5 is 6. Else if local 2 is greater than local 1, then local underscore 2. Alright, so now, if we run this, um, this if statement here is local 1, um, local 3 is going to be equal to 1, because the way this ternary operator here works, and it's going to come down to local 3, it's going to say plus equals local 1 greater than local 2, if that's true, then local 1, which is 5, so that means 1 plus 5 is 6, but this won't be true, or this will be true, okay? But if this wasn't true, that would be local 2, which means 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Alright, so let's run this. 6. Alright, like I said, now we'll just go here and we'll just go 5. 15. Alright, because the way the math works. Because this is true, and this is true. Okay, which means that we're equal to 10 on the first ternary operator, as we've defined here. And then it goes plus equals local 1 is greater than local 2, which it really can't be because they're both the exact same, so it's going to be 5 either way. Alright, so that's all there is to ternary operators. Now, there is another one I want to show you because I'm not sure if I have or not. Um, it's in... Yep, scene manager, and it starts right here. First scene class, alright? Now this is battle test. Battle test is in here. In your uh, troops. You can go here and uh, battle test. So that's battle test here. When you click on that, you can battle your uh, troop classes. And that is what this is for. So if you are actually battle testing, it uses this turner operator to say, are you battle testing? If you are, open scene battle. Otherwise, start off in scene title. So that's what that turner operator does. So it's very useful, and it can make your code a lot neater, and a lot shorter if you use it correctly. So that's all for this tutorial, and until next time, stay safe.